Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. If you aren't familiar with these nails here, then that means that you missed the other three parts of this incredible and beautiful transformation on a former nail biter. It's been a month and my client is back with her bright pink nails. The coating has held on nicely, and by looking at her nails from the side, we can see a smooth transition from the grown-out nail and material. So I'm getting straight to work by removing the former coating with my nail drill and taking down some of the length. In my last video with these nails, I showed you all how the nail plate had improved and grown, and it didn't stop there. Her nail plate has continued growing, making her nails healthier and even more beautiful. There was no lifting underneath the coating or chips, so I'm only removing the material's thickness. We are shaping my client's nails into an oval shape. However, I am making them a little rounder than a typical oval shape, as narrowing out her nails with their current length will make them appear too sharp. And further, I'm just cleaning up the cuticle area. I'm removing the dry cuticle using my nail drill and a ball bit. I'm using medium abrasion and have lowered the RPMs. After I've removed the cuticle, I'm attaching a flame bit to my nail drill and buffing everything up. I'm using the belly of the bit. Once our cleanup is complete, I am prepping her nails by dehydrating them, applying a non-acidic primer and rubber base coat in a thin layer. For today's set, we are using a builder gel. I'm applying a small bead of material and spreading it throughout her nail, building the architecture in the center of her nail. Thank you. 
and here is a non-filing set complete. But as you all know, I cannot go without a little filing. So I'm taking my nail file and smoothing out any rough areas and creating a precise even line to the tip. Our correction is complete, and now for my client's favorite part, our color and design. My client wanted something completely different to her prior bright pink set, so we're starting off with this black polish, which will be our base. The rest of her nails I'm coating in this beautiful bluish green. Over the buffed up color, I am drawing her design in a black gel paint mixed with a non-wipe top coat. I'm doing this in a non-wipe top coat because today we are using chrome powder. I've let that cure underneath the lamp and now I'm going over this in a beautiful gold chrome powder. It looks amazing against the green, but the most interesting part is still ahead of us. Further, in order not to ruin anything, I am coating the chrome in a glossy top coat, letting it cure under the lamp, and then separately coating the color in a matte top coat. Now for our unique and gorgeous design. I'm using two different chrome powders and creating a beautiful design in an animal print. I'm applying this right on top of the polish. And all that's left is to coat our chrome powders in a glossy top coat and then carefully go over everything in a matte top coat. And we're finished. I love how this turned out and I cannot wait to redo this on my own nails. If you liked today's video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.